For decades, those with eyes to see have been aware of chemtrails in our skies. And for decades, we were called conspiracy theorists. But in 2016, while serving as director of the CIA, John Brennan admitted that chemtrails are real at the Council on Foreign Relations. Another example is the array of technologies, often referred to collectively as geoengineering, that potentially could help reverse the warming effects of global climate change. One that has gained my personal attention is stratospheric aerosol injection, or SAI, a method of seeding the stratosphere with particles that can help reflect the sun's heat in much the same way that volcanic eruptions do. An SAI program could limit global temperature increases, reducing some risks associated with higher temperatures and providing the world economy additional time to transition from fossil fuels. This process is also relatively inexpensive. The National Research Council estimates that a fully deployed SAI program would cost about $10 billion yearly. In 2007, it was announced that nano-sized particles, known as smart dust, can be dispersed over the battlefield via aerial spraying. The military has contracted several multinational corporations to develop wearable biosensors. Biosensors and smart dust can become something known as body dust that can spread inside the human body as an active network, capable to provide telemetry from inside the body for the use of monitoring humans. There is a patent for using polyethylene glycol derivatives as a way to modify the weather. Smart dust is a system of tiny microelectromechanical systems that can detect light, temperature, vibration, magnetism, or chemicals. They are operated wirelessly on a computer network, can be used for medical or military surveillance purposes, and can be dispersed through the air via chemtrails. Contemplating God under the chemtrails over the country club.